morning. I'm here putting more items on trays to dehydrate them. I had mushrooms and I have some cilantro and some spinach I'm going to put on trays. But sometimes we don't eat it as fast enough after I buy it and I don't want it to go bad. So you can dehydrate it. So I'm taking all these sliced mushrooms them on trays to dehydrate. I like to take you along to show you how simple it is just <clears throat> to take foods that um, if you're not eating it fast enough because sliced mushrooms they can go bad quicker than whole ones so I just go ahead and get them put on trays. If I know I'm not going to get them eaten in a lot of time. And then you can always put the mushrooms in spaghetti and stews and whatever you're preparing. And it just rehydrates. And I got a bag of spinach here. I got some cilantro seasoning. Uh, cilantro, once it's cut and put in a bag, it go. It doesn't last very long. But you can dehydrate your herbs and your greens. Um, and that way, once they're dried, you, it still retains the flavor and the nutrition, except that it's just um, dehydrated. Um, dehydrating your greens, uh, kale, collards, spinach, any of those. Those are super, superfoods, considered superfoods because of the uh, the nutrition that's in them. All right, I'm gonna put this in the in the rack. And so when you dehydrate them, you still have that to put in your food. Some people um, grow this tree in the warmer climate climates. It's called moringa, and those leaves are highly highly nutritious. They're full of protein. And so I have a few of those trees growing. I have to put them in the basement during the winter months, but they produce some leaves for me throughout the, the spring and summer, or summer, once they leaf out. But you can find Moringa trees in the warmer climate, warmer regions. And they are wonderful. I'm not gonna put that in there. This is cilantro. This is a tray of cilantro I'm putting together. This bulk will <laughs> shrivel down to so little. It is amazing how much they sh shrink up when things are dehydrated. I just put some in a jar and I figured I'd oh, go ahead and dehydrate some of these so they don't start going bad in the bag. So just lay them on your tray. Since they shrink up, it's not necessary to separate them at this time. Leave them on the stems, because I'll show you how to take them off the stems once they are dried. I like getting this stuff done before I go into work. Because in the afternoon and evening, you're busy preparing dinner, and so that's why I do it in the mornings. I like to try to get it filled up. Get more than one item in there. Now I'm going to take this spinach. Lay those out on a tray. And let those dehydrate. And once they dehydrate, you can either powderize them, make them powder, or you can just leave them dried whole. And put them in your food. I don't mind them being whole. So now, some families, children, they don't like their greens, so you have to hide them <laughs> in your foods. And I 
got another whole tray here of tomatoes I'll be doing today. I won't put you through another slicing and dehydrating tomatoes because we've already did that. But I just wanted to add this video since I was going to be putting these on trays this morning instead of just wasting the time. I can show it to you all as well. Any kind of greens. Now, I don't think lettuce does very well, but the spinaches and, like I said, all the dark, big, leafy greens, kale, they're all wonderful to, dehyd to dehydrate and so nutritious. Um, you usually dehydrate a little, the temperature a little bit lower so you don't um, cook your um, herbs and your leaves. Usually, I dehydrate about 115, and that's usually enough. That way, it stay, all the nutrition stays in your in your leaves so because they're they fill up two spaces on in the dehydrator till they shrink up that's how I'm gonna put in there for now but I hope this was helpful to you and I'll be back to show you what they look like um, this evening or in the morning when they've all shrunk up Shalom okay I, our mushrooms and our spinach and our cilantro has been drying all day and it's completely dry and crispy. So I'm just going to take the mushrooms for now until I get some more, more together and put them in a Ziploc bag. You can use Ziploc bags for short-term storage, you know, so if you're planning on using it within a short period of time. But otherwise, that's what I'm going to do at the time. It's all my jars are full. <laughs> all the mushrooms in here. Now you can eat these crunchy just the way they are if you're a mushroom lover. My husband, he loves them dried like this. Puts them on a salad and they add a little bit of crunch to your salad. They, they shrink up real small. Get every little piece. <laughs> that on the side. Right, now I got the mushrooms. Take out the little bit of dust they left behind. All right, and here's the spinach. As you see, it's dried up. It's all nice and crispy. I'm also going to add it to a Ziploc bag. The whole thing. Once you get them in the bag, then you can crush them. I could even do it quicker by pouring them into this bowl here. Let me move this thing out of the way. That's my funnel for the cilantro. Yeah, that's definitely going to be faster. Now, any of these can be left whole and put in anything that you want. But also, you can crush them up, crunch them up. And put them in your Ziploc bag. Some more nutrition to whatever you're cooking. Nope, that's not gonna work. There we go. All right. Once they're in the bag, you can grind them in even smaller. So then you just have those set aside to put in your your meals. Dump this out, it won't matter. It's just greens. Clean off my table here for a minute. Cilantro's a little trickier. You want to take the whole stems and put them in your bowl first. 
because you'll be taking the leaves off of the stems. You can possibly grind your stems and all in a food processor. I thought about that, but then again, would you still feel the stem bits? <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that, so I just take these off and get the leaves. These tend to stick a little more, so I think cilantro has a little bit of an oil that comes off of them. Try to get every bit as I can. That everything just shrinks up, but all the flavor is there. Pause for a moment. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, the puppies had to, were demanding to be fed, so it was that time of day. All right, now you do just start taking these stems out, pulling the leaves off into the glass dish or whatever pan you have them sit in. So all you do just pull the leaves off. Now, some of the stems, the real fine ones, aren't too bad. It's these big, thick ones that I'm pulling them off of. stems you want to get out of there. Now I'm sure there's probably flavor in those stems. So if you decided to put them in a food processor, you'd have to really pulverize them pretty good. Oh, now, I'm, now I'm throwing leaves over here. <laughs> Alright. Once I get all these off, then I'll be back to show you what I do next. Okay, I'm back. I pretty much got all the big stems out of here. Now, just like I'm doing here with cilantro, you can do this with any of your favorite herbs. Whatever you enjoy, um, whatever seasonings, whatever spices, whatever herbs that you enjoy in your food, you can dehydrate any of them. Um, basil, dill, uh, all the ones that you enjoy. So, and then once you get them all pulverized, crunched up, then you get a, a funnel so you can pour them into your jar a little easier without them going everywhere. Notice it just smells so wonderful. I love the smell of cilantro and I love the taste even more. <laughs> you got a Mexican flair to that. That and that's about all you get. I'll probably keep adding more to that as I buy it and um and keep storing it away for when we want to make tacos or burritos or whatever we need it for. So that's how you dehydrate some of your greens, mushrooms, and all that. I hope this was helpful. Have a blessed day.